Ooh, look, broccoli, or calabrese, as it uh, should be called, because it's not really broccoli. But there you go, that's what it gets sold as in the supermarket. Right, today I'm going to be healthy, and I'm going to have a salad. We've got all these lovely ingredients, exotics, mixed mushrooms, garlic stuffed olives, sweet and fiery beetroot, a lime, tomatoes, let's go for it. Oh, and of course, it wouldn't be a salad if it didn't have jalapenos in it. But right now, I'm going to make one of my favourite dishes, I'm going to bastardise one anyway. So I used to go to soup plantation a lot when I was travelling in the States and they had an all-you-can-eat salad bar. And one of my favourite dishes was their broccoli salad. So I'm going to replicate that here. So uh, with just like food covered ingredients. So ignore the lemon juice, don't know what that's doing there. So, because I've got a lime for me, for me avocado. But uh, yeah, so let's get to it. Right, start by chopping these up, these bad boys. Lovely bit of chopped broccoli. I've chopped it lengthways so that it doesn't all fall apart. So let's bang these in the bowl. When I've had this dish in America, they've put a ton of sugar in it. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to sweeten it out with nature's candy, an apple. And that'll also substitute for the fact that they put raisins or sultanas in. So I'm going to chop this up fine and bang that in, that'll sweeten it up and give it some more crunch. So there's half an apple going in, don't really want any more than that. So that's why it'll just taste of apple, but that's, that's enough. And now, uh, what do I do with that? Well, I don't like food waste. I could save it for later, but. Mmm, that's cool. I think speedy it is. <laughs> right, I went into Tesco's and I got um some mayonnaise, but while I was comparing mayonnaise prices, I realised that Hellman's mayonnaise is now like three pounds now, which is ridiculous. So I just got Bramwell's, which is I think is um Tesco's own brand for 99p. So we'll whack a few of these in. Probably probably go with two but to start with. And give it a mix. Oh. It smells good. That part of that mayonnaise hit straight away. Oh yeah. Now that I think that will be enough. Right, I'll give that a big, bit of a mix up. Whack in some pumpkin seeds. Oh, this is going to be good. I've also got toasted free seed mix as well to go in there. I don't even know what's in there, did look? That looks like, oh, look at my camera work. That's me looking over the top of the camera. Uh, very professional here. I haven't got my camera stand today. So this looks like lean seed and something else or something else. So let's have a look. So, lean seed, yep. Pumpkin and sour and sunflower seeds. So that's, that's a nice healthy seed mix. And give that a stir up. Oh, this looks good. I might have a little taste now. The recipe uh, that I found to replicate this, I had uh, white wine vinegar in it. But uh, sod that. Let's just put some jalapeno juice in instead. There we go, just a splash. Mm. Taste test. Oh, that's banging. Different, but that's a 10 for me. It's missing the bacon pieces, but I've got some crispy onions put in actually. Good shout. Final bit going in. A few crispy onions. Bosh. Look at that. I can make <laughs> I can make the cleanest vegetable day. <laughs> now on to the guacamole. This is just gonna be a cupboard recipe, whatever I've got going on. Um, but you can't make guacamole without an avocado. And this one is extra large, apparently. Why people struggle with like peeling avocados, you just literally cut them into quarters and just peel the skin off. Simple. Right, let's smash these bad boys up. My weapon of choice today is a, a, a children's unicorn fork. You know, not sure why, but let's uh, see what we can do. 
with my trusty magical unicorn fork, I have smushed the avocado. Look at that, it's banging. Do you know what? I just like avocado. I don't really need to add anything to it, but we're not just having smushed avocado, are we? We're having guac. So I would normally put just normal tomatoes in, but we're going posh today. So these ones are from the deli and they've got garlic. They're sun, they're not sun dried, sun ripened tomatoes. And they've got oregano or oregano if you come from England. These are banging. Here we go. Look at that, nice bit, nice bit of color. We're not stopping there though. Just for texture, I am gonna put some cherry tomatoes in there as well, because why not? So I'll put them in as well, but what do tomatoes need? That's right, salt. You can't have tomatoes without salt or chips or french fries. So a bit of a uh, sea salt to go in there. And if we put in salt in, we need pepper as well. Salt, pepper done. Now time for some crushed hot chilies. Oh yeah. Say when? Said nobody ever that loves chilies. Now yeah, I think that'll do. Yum. Just add a little taste, it's hot. But you can always make it hotter. Time for some sliced jalapenos there remember this is just my own recipe so please guacamole aficionados don't be banging on that that's not a proper proper guacamole because it hasn't got red onion and all that oh onion just remembered something Sorry. of onions reminded me of onions so i forgot my onions i'm going with spring onions purely because i got them reduced but uh they'll be they'll be nice slice them up nicely and in they're going so this is a loaded Guacamole, I must admit, there's a lot of flavours going on there, but I like big, brassy and bold. So, right, and the finishing touch is a lime. Let's cut this up and give it a squeeze and it's ready to go. I love my lime, I'll never get scurvy. Let's go with a nice big fat one. Look at this, here we go. Oh, get that in there. Perfect, one-handed lime squeeze. Salt and pepper's gone in, that is now done. Let's give myself a one-handed clap. Yay! Oh, look at that. That looks yummy scrumptious, doesn't it? Right, right, let's get, get some of that in my face. The finished guacamole. Let's give this a go, shall we? Here we go. On my unicorn fork. Mmm. Well, wow. <laughs> that is absolutely divine. I love the chili kick, the lime. Oh, that is divine. Yum. Yes, that's a 10. <laughs> In my Jack Skeleton bowl, I'm gonna be put, making tuna cheese and mayonnaise because that's just what I fancied. So I've gone with lazy grated cheese. And you know what, this is one of my favorite things, especially on a jacket potato. So there you go, look, oh, here we go. I'm gonna have to, go um, off camera for a second because I've got no camera stand today. Tuna's in. Mayonnaise again. A bit of cheese. Oh, look at this. You either love it or hate it. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. And a little bit of salt and pepper and we're done. Plate this bad boy up. One-handed. Starting with a breast, breast, a breast, I can't even say it, a bistro salad. I wanted to say breastro salad then, I must be obsessed. Obsessed with chest. There you go, nice healthy base. Let's, uh, let's whack some tomatoes on there. Oh, some more spring onions, I think. Here we go. Some of these posh pink oyster mushrooms. So let's whack some of them on as well. I don't know what these are, I think they're just chestnut mushrooms. But raw mushrooms are banging. So, right. There you go, you can see, see what's going on there. Oh, this stuff is amazing. Sweet and fiery beetroot from Tesco. It's one of my favorite everythings. This, these are all superfoods, so I'm trying to be healthy today. So, wax some of these on. These are honestly amazing. 
So a, a really good way of getting getting your healthy antioxidants in there. Purple food is the answer. I look like a seal killer now. Look, look like something out of Dexter. So what what is going on here? Salad. Right, marinated tomatoes next. A few of them. Oh, oh no, man down. Oh, this is going to be good. I am starving. Right, let's get some of these olives with queen olives stuffed with garlic. So we'll chuck them around as well. So there's quite a number of superfoods on my plate. Because, uh, you know, just trying to be a bit more healthy. So a couple of them. Oh, no. That, look at that. That's just the base. So how low can you go? Oh, and then we've got these sweet pointed peppers here. Right. I'll go with a red and an orange there. So, oh, these are delicious as well. So we'll whack one of them on there. Oh, look. Oh, that's looking good. Some of the broccoli salad. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, get on my plate. Oh, this is so good. So, so we got brock. We got guac. An open drawer. Really bad camera work, but you know what? This is a retro, you know, YouTube style. Oh wow, that's banging on there. Oh, grab a little bit more of that. I mean, it's go big or go home time, isn't it? With salads, at the end of the day, it's uh, you know, there's a lot of this stuff that's uh, pretty much really low calorie and good for you, apart from all the mayonnaise, I reckon. Right, some of the tuna mayo over here. Oh, bang in. Right. That is my salad complete, apart from some crispy onions. Oh. Oh. Food porn moment. Shh, look at that. Gorgeous. Right, let's get it in my face. Bush! <laughs> big John would never eat this. He wouldn't be the Big John, would he? He'd be, he'd be Slim John if he ate this. Incoming! Mm. I'm proud of myself that I've made it taste unhealthy. <laughs> the only thing that's missing is a bit of blue cheese. Oh, it's a 10 all round. I could eat this every day. And do you know what? I should. Right, anyway. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get my uh, face around this plate of lovely goodness. Just one last look. One final look. Look at that. Yeah, it wasn't the quickest salad, but I don't care. Bloody tasty. Right, catch you all later. Bye.